morning guys this is our lecture number 3 on the video series based on the difference equation part 2 of msc second year fourth sem so in the previous two videos we have seen the lagrange's identity and uh, now we will see the next topic of it that is green's function so let's start with the green's function it is the green's theorem we will see the green's functions afterwards so what is the theorem what is the statement the statement of the green's theorem is assume that y of t and z of t are defined on a b plus 2 then the summation or t equals to a plus 1 to b plus 1 z of t l of y of t minus summation from t equals to a plus 1 to b plus 1 y of t l of z of t equals to in bracket p of t omega of z of t y of t bracket close and there are the limits what is the lower limit a and the upper limit is b plus 1 so we have to prove this term equals to this term and to prove this we have the lagrange's identity so start with the proof we know the lagrange's identity is equals to z of t into l of y of t minus y of t into l of z of t equals to delta of p of t minus 1 omega of z of t minus 1 y of t minus 1 what is omega this is a gaussian so gaussian of z of t minus 1 y of t minus 1 we will give this as equation number 1 and we also have if the delta that is the difference operator delta y of t equals to z of t then summation over t equals to m to n minus 1 z of t equals to in bracket y of t limits from m to n is equal to y of n minus y of n so these are the limits they say if we have given the delta operator operating on y of t is equals to z of t then we can write it like this what is that summation over t equals to n to n minus 1 z of t is equals to in bracket y of t lower limit m upper limit n so we will first put the upper limit in the t so we have y of n and then we put lower limit m so we get y of m so y of t cha jagi n ani m put kela nantar aplyala milal y of n minus y of n आणि ही गोष्ट आपण थर्ड सेम मध्ये शिकलेलो आहोत सो ना वी विल कन्सिडर द लेफ्ट साईड ऑफ द लॅग्रांजेस आयडेंटी दॅट इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन सो वी हॅव कन्सिडर इन ब्रॅकेट झेड ऑफ टी एल ऑफ वाय ऑफ टी मायनस वाय ऑफ टी एल ऑफ झेड ऑफ टी दिस टर्म वी हॅव कन्सिडर दिस सो equals to delta of p of t minus 1 omega of z of t minus 1 y of t minus 1 so where this limits came from so we have to prove this identity so therefore we have taken the lower limit and upper limit to this identity therefore operating further we get delta of p of b plus 2 minus 1 omega of z of b plus 2 minus 
y of b plus 2 minus 1 minus of p of a plus 1 minus 1 omega of z of a plus 1 minus 1 y of a plus 1 minus 1 so here we have put the upper limit minus the lower limit a plus 1 so if we put b plus 2 as the upper limit in the place of t we get p of b plus 2 minus 1 omega of z of in place of t we put b plus 2 so z of b plus 2 minus 1 y of in place of t we put b plus 2 and minus 1 as it is again for the lower limit we have put in the place of t the a plus 1 so p of t minus 1 that is p of a plus 1 minus 1 omega of z of a plus 1 minus 1 and y of a plus 1 minus 1 then the left side written as it is and after that equals to delta of p of b plus 1 omega of z of b plus 1 y of b plus 1 minus p of a omega of z of a y of a is it correct yes because we have solved it for b plus 2 minus 1 so what is b plus 2 minus 1 b plus 2 minus 1 we will solve this we will get b plus 1 so we have get b plus 1 p of b plus 1 omega of z of b plus 1 and y of b plus 1 same in the next term we had p of a plus 1 minus 1 so 1 1 cancel and p of a same omega of z of a and y of a therefore we can see here if we apply delta on this we get P of T. So here <coughs> we have limits B plus 1 and A. So we will keep it out. Then we get delta of P of T, omega of Z of T and Y of T. If we solve this term by keeping this lower limit and upper limit, we directly get this whole term. So we can write in place of this. Therefore, summation over t equals to a plus 1 to b plus 1 into z of t l of y of t minus y of t into l of z of t equals to p of t omega of z of t y of t over limits a to b plus 1. So, how this came? We know summation and the difference operator delta. These two are the opposites of each other. Therefore, this delta went to the left side. Here, there is no delta. So, this delta went to the left side and it becomes it became summation and we had the limits as a plus 1 and b plus 1 therefore we get summation of a plus 1 to b plus 1 z of t l of y of t minus summation over t equals to a plus 1 to b plus 1 y of t l of z of t equals to p of t omega of z of t into y of t complete the bracket limits from a to b plus 1 this is because we have separated this bracket and we multiplied this we divided this limits to this bracket so therefore here we get first term and this is the second term when we give to limits so therefore we get the answer of our Green's theorem and we have proven that the term summation from t equals to a plus 1 to b plus 1 into z of t l of y of t minus summation 
i of t l of z of t equals to in bracket p of t omega of z of t into i of t where the limits a plus a and b plus 1. So, x is proved. The next is one corollary. And what is the name of the corollary? This is the corollary and its name is Livoli's formula. So, we will start with the statement. What is the statement? If y of t and z of t are solution of L of y of t equals to 0, this two are said to be the solutions of L of y of t, that is the linear operator y of t. Then we have to prove omega, that is the Cassotian of y of t and z of t equals to c upon p of t for the given t belongs to closed interval a b plus 1 where this c is a constant. So what we have given that is y of t and z of t are the solutions of this linear operator y of t and we have to prove to prove we have to prove that the Cassotian of y of t into z of t equals to c of c upon p of t for t belongs to a and b plus 1 where c is a constant. So we have to start the proof now. So what is given we will write it first. So we have given that y of t and z of t are the solution of the linear operator L of y of t. So we will write it first. Scenes y of t and z of t are the solutions of the linear operator y of t equals to 0. Since y of t and z of t are the solutions of L of y of t, we can write it like L of y of t equals to 0 and L of z of t equals to 0 because these are the solutions and if we put into this we will get 0 therefore we can say they are the solutions so to this we will give it as equation 1 and using the Lagrange's identity what was the Lagrange's identity so here we go Take a look. This is uh, Lagrange's identity. So what is it? Z of t L of y of t minus y of t into L of z of t equals to delta of p of t minus 1 omega of z of t minus 1 into y of t minus 1. It is for p in a plus 1 and b plus 1. So we will use this. So using Lagrange's identity we have delta of p of t minus 1 omega of z of t minus 1 y of t minus 1. So here we had this we had this term in the Lagrange's identity on the RHS but we have taken it on the LHS to prove the Rivoli's formula. That is the color, corollary given. So, in the Lagrange's identity, we had delta of p of t minus 1, omega of z of t minus 1, y of t minus 1 equals to z of l of y of t minus y of t l of z of t. So, we have l of y of t and l of z of t is 0. So from 1, we can write it as 0. So delta of p of t minus 1, omega of z of t minus 1, y of t minus 1 equals to 0. Therefore, we will send this to this side. Therefore, we don't have here any delta. 
so p of t minus 1 omega of z of t minus 1 y of t minus 1 equals to c that is any constant we have written also where c is any constant for all the t So, P of t omega of z of t into y of t equals to c for all t and uh, we will send this t to this side under the c. So, we get omega of z of t into y of t equals to c upon P of t that is our required solution.